Dr. Pat Abbott with the latest on this earthquake that has rattled the Bay Area. Dr. Abbott, thanks so much for joining us. Good to be here. Can you give us a little pers perspective on this latest report of the magnitude 5.1 earthquake in the San Jose area? Well, certainly. It's, it's a depth is at about uh, six and a half miles deep. A 5.1 is not a, an earthquake that in and of itself is going to cause a whole lot of damage, but there's always the possibility that it is a foreshock. Now, in this particular area here, this area here, the Calaveras Fault on up through Hayward Fault, this is one of the hot spots in terms of hot spots, areas where we're most expecting a magnitude 6.7 or larger earthquake uh, on the order of a 33% chance by the year 2043. So when you see something move in this area, it's a concern because of where it is and also because of the potential of the so much unreleased strain in that area. If we go back to the 19th century, this whole East San Francisco Bay Area was rocked by big earthquakes. So many times, the 1906 San Francisco one kind of took away a lot of that. But now uh, stress is building up again, and we're very much concerned about a major earthquake in this zone. Yeah, I think a lot of the concern there is that this is a heavily populated area. This is one of the stronger earthquakes to, to rattle this area over the past few years. You mentioned that buildup of strain, and because of that, a greater probability of a strong earthquake here. What's contributing to that? Well, basically, we'll go back to plate tectonics again, because you, you basically all of California west of the San Andreas Fault, and including east of it, we're being moved to the northwest. So there's long-term tectonic stresses that we know feed uh, stress into the rocks, held there as strain energy, and then it's held until it's released in earthquakes. Now, this particular zone along the East Bay, this fault zone runs all the way up along to a lot of those old East Bay cities that have a lot of old buildings in there. A lot of retrofitting has gone on, but there are a lot of bad buildings. By bad, I mean the kinds of buildings you wouldn't want to uh, be in during an earthquake. The, um, USG, the FEMA has a program called HAZUS, and it estimates uh, a magnitude 6.7 earthquake on the Hayward Fault at, say, 2 p.m. in the daytime could kill around 300, excuse me, at 2 a.m. when people are home in bed, the safest place to be for most people during an earthquake. That could still kill maybe 300 people if it occurred at 2 p.m. when a lot of these old buildings are inhabited. This computer program suggests, and the number is just terrifying, I'll, I'll have to say here again, it is from a computer program, say as many as 2,000 people could die. My major point is not to spread fear, but just to say that this East San Francisco Bay Area is a hotbed of earthquakes in the 19th century, and we are, in a geologic sense, overdue for more. And by say overdue, I mean 21st century. Maybe it's the 22nd century, yeah. but more are coming. We have no idea of the exact time. And certainly glad to report this time around, no reports of significant damage, but completely understandable as you were laying out for us why there was some significant cause for concern. Dr. Pat Abbott, geologist with San Diego State University, thank you for being with us on Fox Weather, giving us some perspective on this earthquake. My pleasure. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.